What's up guys? It's Ryantium here and today we are back in Skyrim. That's right you guys and no snap. It's gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys welcome back and happy Friday. So today, today there's a very special kind of really interesting looking mod that I saw on Bethesda.net known as Extra Planar Sword Techniques. A bit of a mouthful if you don't like the word Extra Planar, but this is one of the most unique sword mods that I've actually seen and uh it can be it can be used with any one-handed sword and great sword as well. So let's go and take a look at what this is. So in order to find the uh, the things that are actually spell tomes, we're gonna go ahead and come up here to Winterhold, come over right to here, and then right beneath the staircase of the College of Winterhold is where you'll find the chest labeled HS Chest. Now inside of here there are seven spell tomes: one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then an additional two for your followers. And then we've got Weird Scribbles and Gwen's Journal. Now we're just going to go ahead and learn these things right here. Because that is what we're here to take a look at. But I want to get out of the frozen north and go somewhere a little bit more warm. So go ahead and show these things off. So let's go ahead and pop on down to, I don't know, maybe Riften and take a look at these bad boys. Okay, so we're down here in Riften. It's a nice little spot down here, a bit warmer. But, I have on my back a Daedric Greatsword. Now, like I said, it can work with pretty much any sword, um, a one-handed sword and or greatsword, but I figured Daedric would look pretty cool. Now, how exactly does this mod work? Well, in order to use it, you can use your sword perfectly fine just the way that it is. You can still block with it, you can still do heavy attacks, everything like that, because everything with this mod is actually linked to the power button. So if we go ahead and take a look right here, we have Duskblade, Hallowed Bolt, Hellcry Punch, Judgment Blade, Northswain Strike, Shadow Blade, and Shell Bust Stab. Now all of these have differing um, things that happen to them, with the Dust Blade stealing Magicka from its victim. The Hallowed Bolt deals physical and shock damage to all targets within a large circular area. The Hellcry Punch gives you uh, crushing weapons and deals physical damage. The Judgment Blade uh, deals physical damage and hits heavy chance to pin enemies to the ground. The North Swain Strike uh, gives you, a, uh, it deals physical damage, but then it has a small chance to double the amount of damage. The Shadow Blade leeches the life force from, from its victims. And then finally, the Shell Bust Stab uh, creates crushing defensive gears dealing physical damage. Kind of crazy, honestly. But the thing to remember with this mod is they're actually based on where you're aiming. So for instance, you don't need to be right next to your enemy if you want to unleash, say, the Dusk Blade. All you need to do is make sure that it's equipped, and then click the power button. And it will automatically use 100 stamina and summon a blade from the ground. Now we're going to go ahead and just quick save a little bit, just in case we hit someone by, by chance, because I do want to try and hit someone eventually. But if we go ahead and take a look right here, Hallowed Bolt has the most, I'd say, destructive potential. Because it can hit multiple targets at once, and it does a lot of damage. And you can see that that one, it doesn't really matter where you're looking, because it will automatically just kind of go for the closest thing that's there. And uh, continue to shock bodies when they're dead, which is kind of funny, honestly. Now keep in mind that one, uh, it, it, keep in mind all of them do take 100 stamina to, sp um, to spawn it. So make sure that you have a lot of stamina. So this is the Hellcry Punch creates a giant freaking blade that comes up out of the ground. You, you're noticing a theme, right? Most of these just spawn giant blades. And uh, it doesn't look like you can go too, too far, or it won't work on buildings. Let's see. Yeah, no. So it looks like there is an upper limit to the distance that you can actually cast this, but let's see if we can grab him. Oh yeah, we can totally grab him. Okay. Oh, there's two of them there. Oh god, it put them together and it launched them into the air. Holy shit. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Judgment Blade, one of my favorites. So that poor little guy down there just got crushed by crystals. <laughs> it's amazing! And then they die. <laughs> and then we've got the North Swain Strike. So that one creates a really cool looking dagger that kind of comes up from the ground just like that. And this whole entire time, feel free to use your sword if people get too close or you're out of stamina to use the attack, um, you know, efficiently and effectively. But look at that, you can even do that. So yeah, there is actually an upper limit to how far you can cast them, which makes sense. This is Shadow Blade. Oh god, that's amazing. I love it. 
Even just for the fact that this looks so badass, I think it's the coolest thing ever. And then finally we have the Shell Bust Stab, which is cool because it creates a little hook that comes up out of the ground and does that. That's kind of nifty. So this is by far one of the most like unique sword enhancement kind of mod mods I've seen, uh, considering the fact that it can be used with any one-handed sword or great sword, and you can still kind of use your weapon the way that you want to, but with the added benefit of actually using a power with it as well to make your weapons even more powerful. So let me know what you guys are thinking down there in the comment section. I would love to hear what you guys' thoughts are with this just absurd mod. Um, let me know what you guys are thinking down there in the comment section. But until next time, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next showcase.